Born with a disability, her mother abandoned him to his grandma at the age of only six months. He has been in a hole for 12 years. He can't talk or even walk. His life has never been good ever since he was born. Meet Olivia. We heard news of him and went to see by ourselves the reality. We went with a team of volunteers and offered some help. Tell us about you and your grandson. We asked. One evening, I was seated right here, and a girl came with a baby, who by then was six months old. I welcomed her, and later that night, she left the baby and never came back. At around 3 a.m. in the morning, I heard the baby crying so hard. I came to see why. Reaching there, I could not find his mother around. I thought she went to the toilet. Searched everywhere, but could not find her. So I calmed the baby that night. And he kept quiet. So ever since she has not yet returned for his son, she has not even made a single follower to know whether her son is still alive. I thought she abandoned the child because he had such a defect. Maybe she thought the kid would be useless and chose to let him suffer with this old woman, says Granny. We share each and everything I have, but whenever I feel like going somewhere, I put him inside that hole like room. Because if you put him in the house and leave, he can destroy and break everything, says Grandma. <laughs> After some days, people told me that the girl who left his son here was once friendly with my son. That they have been in a relationship for some days and they insist this is his baby, so I might be her grandmother. Poverty, rape, abuse and lack of documentation, these are some of many reasons some mothers choose to abandon their babies. The study said that 65% of abandoned children are newborn and 90% are under the age of one. A large number of babies have already survived a later abortion prior to being abandoned. He is now 12 years old. He communicates only by crying. During lunchtime, when he has not yet got lunch, he cries. He has never spoken a single word ever since he was born. <laughs> Thank you for visiting me. Her mother has not yet showed up to see if the boy is still even alive. 
She has not made a single follow up since dumping this kid. As neighbors, how do you see the life of this family? She lives with this kid and all her children went away. And she can't be able to go to work, it's almost impossible. Mm. As she is old, and no one could take care of the baby. Mm. Mm. I will try and help her as we can. As neighbors, we visit each other more often. Sometimes we come and help in different things, including shaving the skid, washing his clothes, and so on. This family has gone through difficult life. I would make advocacy to all members of our group and to everyone watching this on Afromax to try and change the living standards of this boy. If this boy given treatment, he could come to normal. TV what do you think can change your life and your grandson we ask i wish this kid would be taken to a certain school although he's like this he can have basic knowledge that will help him in his daily life As I think if given education, he'll be able to know different things. For instance, by now, he cannot even eat by himself, talk something, or walk. But he needs to see the doctor. As I'm growing old, I no longer manage to lift him up. So taking him to school would help me. And for me, I think I will live by God's grace, as I've been living. Only God knows. Like the way you visited, I did not know that you'll be here, but you came. So I believe God will handle the rest. Let my grandson get treatment and education first. After making part one of this story together with this team again, they organized and contributed money so that this young boy could be taken to a certain community center that helps people with disabilities. Their goal was achieved. The child was taken to this community center. This kind of school has both teachers and different doctors. So we visited this boy with the same group of people who we previously came with. And we saw a big impact since the boy came here. <laughs> they take care of him as much as possible. And he now looks confident and clean than ever before. No one is useless in this world. He who lightens the burdens of another. There is no exercise better for the heart than reaching down and lifting people up. When we give cheerfully and accept gratefully, everyone is blessed. You have not lived today until you have done something for someone who can never repay you. Remember, if you need a helping hand, it's at the end of your arm. As you get older, remember you have another hand. The first is to help yourself, the second is to help others. Well, I'm in charge of social welfare and education, more especially those who are disabled. It's almost eight months since Olivia came here. As you saw the whole story, he lived with his grandma 
who could lock him in the hall. So he we granted him access to all rights. Before, he did not know personal hygiene, so we taught him basic hygiene and basic knowledge for everyday life. As you can see now, he's smart. We're happy for that as his teachers. He now can care about himself. He knows how to wash himself, eat by himself. As someone who spent 10 years in one place, his muscles need to be stretched. So we give him kinesthetic and physiotherapy at least four times a week. By when we brought him, he could not even stand. But as you see, he's now walking, smart and clean. Even his grandma calls and asks his grandson doing and we say he's doing well. So we communicate and we tell him each and everything. Last time we were together, how can you compare with how you saw him today? It's a big impact. Now, he can even stand upright, walk, this proves he'll be okay. It's just a matter of time and also thank this community center. Last time we were also together. What physical changes have you seen? Uh, it's more than happiness. Last time his back was bent. He could neither stand nor walk. But we are pleased finding him walk by himself. And he's smiling. <sighs> Well, this is our day-to-day -day life, so challenges are part of it. And here I think there was no special challenges by this kid, only that he had no one to take care of him, and he couldn't even talk. Here are other kids, they talk to him, and he's adapting living with many people, but when he came, he could break everything. But now, it's not the same. He can now hold a plate, a cup of tea, drink and eat by himself. So the growth delay he has will not at once vanish, but after some time he'll be okay. What we want is that he can be free. Life is all about going through upward and all to pursue our dreams. Don't let any kind of obstacle and failure pin you down or push you against your success of life. Fight hard the battle of life and take the challenges with courage, determination, and perseverance. Just keep moving forward with hope. And this day is not so far when life will put the crown on your head as a successful human being. This is Afro Max English. I'm Elijah. We love you.